Workout time, baby. Look good, feel good, feel good, play good, play good, get paid good. Let's go. We out here. Time to read. world, Dominique D. Hargrove here. I am the game changer. I am the slight edge and so are you. Welcome to the fifth episode of the game changer book review. I want to thank all of you for your emails and your comments. Continue um, emailing your suggestions in other books that you know about pertaining to the subject of uh, brain science, how the mind works, neuroscience, neurology, uh, the law of attraction, the law of higher dimension. Right, we're really learning about the technology that we already have. I know you have cell phones, computers, but this thing called the brain. Today's book we're going in is called Ultramind ESP System. Uh, Thank Your Way to Success by Jose Silva. Um, I've read through this book. It's very deep. It's uh, definitely for those of you who are serious about learning about your God-given brain, the gift you have between your ears, learning how to uh, have be more confident about yourself, ab about your mind, how to use your mind, how to program and reprogram your subconscious mind, how to actually think consciously so that you can actually attract what you desire by becoming the greatest person that you can become. And that's through, you know, the love and the Christ that is within you. So we're gonna go into this book, Ultra Mind ESP System, Think Your Way to Success uh, by Jose Silva. Get your pens, your paper out, let's go. Here's a few quick points about the author, Jose Silva. Jose Silva conducted 22 years of research to learn what makes some people more successful than others and he developed a system that everyone can use to achieve success in life. He learned that we function in two dimensions, the physical world at the faster beta brainwave frequencies and the spiritual world at the lower alpha brainwave frequencies. Jose Silva thought of this as his mission in life, learning how to use the subconscious consciously, thereby converting the subconscious to an inner conscious dimension. What is alpha? Your biocomputer brain operates on a small amount of electricity, just like a personal computer does. It can process and store information, retrieve that information, and then use that information to make decisions and solve problems. Unlike other computers, the electricity that the brain generates and functions with does not remain at a fixed frequency. Sometimes this electric current vibrates rapidly, 20 times or more per second. Other times it vibrates very slowly, one time or less per second. Scientists call these vibrations cycles or hertz and have divided the brain frequency spectrum into four different segments based on the number of cycles per second or CPS. Here's where you need your pen and your notebook. Uh, here are the four different segments of the brain frequency spectrum. Beta is above 14 cycles per second, typically 20 cycles per second when your body and mind are active and you focus your eyes. Alpha, from 7 to 14 cycles per second, is associated with light sleep and dreaming. Theta, theta is a very important one. Theta, from 4 to 7 cycles per second, is associated with deeper sleep and with the use of hypnosis for such things as painless surgery. So. Once again, using affirmations before you go to sleep. And we'll, get, we'll talk more about these techniques to, uh, uh, to, to basically influence how your brain works. Fourth segment is delta. Less than four cycles per second is associated with deepest sleep. Age 29. The alpha frequency is the strongest as far as currency and the most rhythmic of the four. That's why it was the first to be discovered by scientists with their primitive sensing equipment. It was named Alpha for the first letter in the Greek alphabet. On page 38, the author did a good job of mentioning Napoleon Hill and how Napoleon Hill had the awesome opportunity to team up with Andrew Carnegie and he then began to study some of the most successful, richest, wealthiest people on the planet. Those studies turned out into great books called Think and Grow Rich. That is a must in your library. And also The Magic Key to Riches is another must 
Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. Page 49, Jose Silva has a great affirmation in here for those of you who want to get smarter, want to work on self-improvement, become the better you. Uh, my increasing mental faculties are for serving humanity better. So you can say that every morning. My increasing mental faculties are for serving humanity better. You're getting smarter, baby. section here what makes successful people different he said what we found is that super successful people do their thinking get information and make decisions at the alpha brain level In one of his experiments he realized that the people whose brains dipped into alpha apparently to obtain and analyze information there tended to be more successful than those whose brains remained at beta Evidently, there was more information available at Alpha than at Beta. So that's a pretty interesting concept there. Once again, do your own research. Study what Beta is. Study what Alpha waves are pertaining to your brain. 79, a section here called Mind Guides Brain, Brain Guides Body. Whenever you have a thought, that thought causes a reaction in your brain. That reaction can travel down neural pathways and cause certain muscles to contract or relax. According to Dr. J.W. Hahn, the first scientist to support Jose and his research, this is called an ideomotor response, an idea motor response. An idea causes a reaction in the brain, which causes a reaction in the sensory motor nervous system, which causes muscles to respond. Chapter 7 here, Program with Images, and this is very important. I created a dream board, and I work with dream boards over the years, and they have definitely helped me to consciously attract my desire into my reality. So here it says, mental pictures in the form of visualization and imagination can be one of the most powerful tools you can use in your mental programming. Pictures are the universal language. Everybody, no matter where they live or what their background, will get the picture. They understand. Writers spend hours trying to describe what something looks like. A picture makes it easy. So, once again, visualization, imagination, create a dream board. Cut words up and pictures up that you want to appear in your life. If you want a better, healthier body, uh, do like my brother did. Put your head on a healthy, muscular body. Uh, use your imagination. Before he has understanding, visualization, and imagination, a key uh, concept here. And he says, let's define some terms that we use in the SILVA program. See, you see with your eyes. Visualize. When you recall what something looks like that you have seen before, you are visualizing. It is the memory of what something looks like. It is not the same as seeing. It is not merely as vivid. Most people say that dreams are more vivid than visualization. You can visualize with your eyes open or closed at beta or at alpha. Just relax and recall what something looks like. He defines imagine. Imagination is a creative process. When you imagine, you think about what something looks like that you have never seen or imagined before. And today we have reviewed Ultra Mind ESP system. Think Your Way to Success by Jose Silva. And before we leave, I want to make sure I give you the definition to ESP, all right, so you can do your own research. What is ESP? Extrasensory perception, or ESP, also called sixth sense, includes reception of information not gained through recognized physical senses, but sensed with the mind. The term was adopted by Duke University psychologist J.B. Ryan to denote psychic abilities such as telepathy, clairaudience, and clairvoyance, and their trans-temporal operation as precognit precognition and retrocognition. Okay, so ESP, uh, you know, you look at movies like X-Men, you look at uh, movies like superheroes and Marvel comics and DC comics. Well, you hear about the ability to prophesy. Some of you might hear about the ability to be a psychic. Well, even in the Bible, it talks about in the last days, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. Your sons and daughters shall prophesy. Your young men shall see visions. Your old men shall dream dreams. So we understand the spiritual makeup of what's going on and how our brains work. 
Once again, this is Dominique D. Hargrove. I am the Slight Edge. I am the Game Changer, and so are you. Thank you for joining us for our fifth episode of the Game Changer Book Review, where we review Ultramind ESP System, Thank Your Way to Success by Jose Silva. Remember, keep your emails coming in. You can email me at IamTheSlightEdge at gmail.com. Don't forget a healthy diet equals a healthy brain. I can help you with that. Uh, go to my website, IamTheSlightEdge.com, and search The Perfect Pack.